Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tank Index. Last time we discussed, um, you know, a bunch of British tanks, basically. Because Britain in the 1920s were basically just trying everything they wanted to with tanks. Um, but now we're just going to stay in Europe. But this time we're going to go to Germany, or at the time of the like track or the subject of today's video, the Weimar Republic. So to sort of give some history, this would be two years of the Gross Tractor, which was in 1928, so it's now 1930. I know, I have amazing math skills. Um, and the hidden tank, sorry, tractor project was going pretty great. They had the prototype heavy tractor created and, you know, they're kind of like, well, you know, we made sort of our spin on the heavy tank concept. Now look how common the FT is, like everyone has the FT. Let's make our own, you know, um, our own FT, our own light tank. So they went with the like tractor for this. Um, Krupp and Rhein Metal both would make two prototypes. The Krupp prototypes were around 8.7 tons with a coil spring suspension, while the Rhein Metal prototypes were nearly 9 tons, having a leaf spring suspension. Um, both had a crew of four, which was a lot for a light tank. I mean, you look at virtually any other, they just have two man crews, right? I mean, the FT, of course, the NCs. Um, Obviously, the British light tanks only had two crewmen, so four was an awful lot, to be honest. I mean, it had a commander, a driver, a loader, and a radio commander, which was a pretty odd choice, because you'd think if you have a specified loader, you'd also have a specified gunner. Um, I'm not really sure who would do the gunning. Is it the radio commander? But why wouldn't you give that job to the commander? I'm not really sure. Um, the tanks could go 19 miles per hour with an 85-mile operational range on the road, which is pretty good. Um, they had 5 to 19 miles millimeters of armor with a pretty good 14 millimeters in the front and back um and even like you know even if they only had eight on the sides i mean the vickers medium tanks which is the primary medium tanks for the british had eight millimeters max i believe so i mean this was pretty good for a light tank um it was on with you know the german 3.7 submarine gun which of course if you can do math 37 millimeters which was a standard for the time basically as well as two mg13 machine guns presumably just for infantry purposes um, Krupp and Ryan Metal would both make prototypes, and Ryan Metal would win out in 1928, getting an order for 289 tanks, which, for a hidden tractor program, was quite a lot. All orders would eventually be cancelled, though, and the Germans would test these tanks in the Kama Tank School, which is sort of their hidden Soviet Union Germany co op tank school. Um, and in the opening stages of World War II, these would serve training purposes. Final assessment, um, the light tractor was made in an era where the FT was the standard, so in comparison, this was an amazing vehicle. If a bit heavy for a light tank, I mean, you know, these sort of the concept of the 7-ton infantry tank, right? Which, I mean, some might argue that's a medium tank, but, you know, I mean, for a medium tank, only 7 tons. You know, for, like, 9 tons, it's quite a lot. Tech guy! Sorry. But its speed was more than enough to make up for that. Um, in comparison to British light tanks at the time, this was a fairly good light tank. Um... And obviously, in comparison to the FT, it was leagues about that. Um, armed with a good quality gun, plus a machine gun to boot. Um, two machine guns to boot. And they had pretty good turret armor, too. All around, these were pretty good tractors.